you say, you know, who who is so immortal, man? In, in a short sentence, brother, all I can say is, as I'm just a man that's trying to, trying to, and I don't want to sound cliche, man. I'm just trying to do the mission of the Most High, man. Like, like at this point in my life, you know, I've I've done a lot of things. I've had a lot of fun and and and, and accomplished a lot of goals. But it's like every day, every day I wake up now, it's more and more about less of me and, and more about what I can do for the mission like of my brothers. Like, like how can I get my brothers on, on, on you know, in, in a peaceful state? And, and, you know, it's to the point now, it's like if I, if I step on toes doing that, if I offend some people doing that, I, I'm not trying to do that, man. But it's like, that's my mission now. It's, right. it's like once I'm gone, that's what I want my legacy to be. You know, that's what I want my legacy to be, man. So, so that's really who I am. Wow, wow, and and you you say when if you step on somebody's toes you don't mean to, but I'm gonna tell you this, brother. We gotta be, and I understand you being a gentleman about it, and I'm a gentleman. I love being a gentleman to my to mankind, but brothers out there, sisters out there, we gotta be unapologetic about doing our mission, about you know uh you know doing doing the work, doing God's work, and I'm not big on religion. And when I say doing God's work, God's work, that has nothing to do with religion. But uh, we got to be like that, unapologetic and, and pushing forward. So, so, so this is the biggest question or the most asked question I get from brothers. Mm-hmm. How do I find my purpose? What is my mission? And how do I go about pursuing that? You know, I think... I think, you know, to find, for a man to find his purpose, like, it's, it's really, it's really multifaceted. Like, a man really has to go back, he has to go to the part, like, like, his beginning. You know, when he, when he first became conscious of him being able to make his own decisions, I don't know if that's going to be 12, 14, 17, but at some point in time, a, a man has to, to unlearn everything he's learned and, and go back to scratch. Now, something, sometimes the universe will take you there if you're taking too long to get there but, <laughs> right. but at some point a man has to go to the point where you know where he just for, you know releases everything you know he may have to release some of his friends he might have to release some of his uh you know uh, uh friends and family places he used to go to man just to get back to that you know ground zero and once he gets there man and, and gets to back back to nothingness then just sit in the silence for a minute and then those answers will start coming to him man you know and, and when i talk about you know i talk about purpose a lot and, and a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers I talk to, they'll ask me like, well, how do you find purpose? And for the longest time, I couldn't answer that, man. I was like, well, you know, I would, I would say, well, well, what do you love, man? Like, what's your mission? What's your cause? All these questions. But one day I asked the brother, I said, once you leave this planet, what do you want men to still be talking about concerning you? And brother, when I said that to young brothers, instantly they, they go to a place. They go to a place and they say, you know what? Now I'm starting to understand what, how I'm supposed to be moving. Because once you identify that, that that's when you start moving in that man. That that's what your purpose is, brother. Wow, wow! I never even thought of it like that, man. Um, you just shortened my response to the brothers <laughs> for real, man. I, I would give a long answer, but you're right. When I die, what do I want to be remembered for? What what mm-hmm. mark did I leave? And that that simplifies it. That's so powerful, mm-hmm. but so so simple. 